In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, welcome to the attending this month. They will celebrate the sixth Sunday of all uh, Easter season. And all today is uh, Mother's Day, since we have many mothers. So, wish everyone happy Mother's Day. Mother's Day. So, and also Resurrection, the Easter season, reminding us that uh, the life of Jesus, the love of God, is the central power. It is uh, the unity among different people, different areas. That is why that has uh, united in God's love to celebrate our faith and also celebrate uh, as a mother, as a child. Everyone has a mother. Well, not everyone has a child, but at least every person has a mother. So that's why we celebrate. Now let us pray our heart for the days of the Eucharist. I confess to Almighty God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. 
His right hand has won victory for him, his own holy God. The Lord has revealed the nation of his followers. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed the nation of his followers. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. The Lord has revealed the nation of his saving A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent His only Son into the world so that we might have life through Him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as expiation for our sins. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Which means 
Many people love you, which is uh, good. But the one person, only one person love you, you are in danger. But the fact is, there are many people who love priests. It is true. You know, our parish, St. Joseph Parish, celebrated Christmas bigger than Chinese New Year. We have a uh, lot of uh, light, the colorful light, the shining light outside. We have uh, uh, a lot of Christmas gifts. We have uh, prepared a lot of uh, uh, masses. Uh, so be, we have uh, also uh, Harley. We have uh, even concert in the Tower Parker. So you can see for the Christmas celebration is bigger than Chinese New Year. As New Year we have no much, we have only one month, that's it. So as a priest, every year before the Christmas, we usually we used to receive a lot of gifts. As a priest, we receive uh, many chocolate, we receive uh, some uh, cake, Christmas cake. Uh, we receive some wine, or we will receive many cards, etc. Or sometimes, sometimes there are some candies also. So, how could a priest consume so many Christmas cake? How much chocolate a person can eat if you have uh, more than 10 bars of chocolate? So but that's a whole love from others. So every year that's why I give this uh, chocolate also to our helper, to our volunteers on Sunday, so everyone can share the love. That is a very interesting example I believe. Because uh, some parishioners who is already 50 years old, and then they share about their childhood in St. Joseph Parish. They said, you know, Father, when I was a child, a little girl, a little boy, and then the priest at that time gave us uh, chocolate, give us uh, some uh, cake, which is uh, we hardly could have, but in church, and then the priest gave us, we are so happy. And then the priest really loved us. Now, you know, I want to do something for our church also. Then, it's reasonable. But behind all this, I want to say, you know, these people who feel the love by the priest, and then they want to love others, want to love the church, even the priest died already, but say or she love our people here. Then, how about the uh, you. Do you have kind of an experience of because someone loved you and uh, you love others? The second point that I want to share is uh, the church to make a priest a symbol, which is also a beautiful gift. You know, a priest who live in the life of uh, one person eat whole family don't feel hungry. You don't need a very child, wife. You just do the mission you have. And there's so many love come to the priest. You know, in the old time, the church, the priest can be married. But uh, during the year of 400 to 600, the monastery church. They are the rich people, they are the very high educated people. They live their life very good, but they abandon the, what the, they have and then to help the poor. So they feel that they love loved by God, have so many things, and then they give up these things to the people who are poor. They feel happy. So they live in the wilderness to make a, a center or build a simple house and then to pray, fast, 
and practice their faith. So the church was considered that is a holiness. That's why the church asked all the priests who should be want to become a priest, who should be single, not get married until now. So the first point I will share about one person, one priest, which is loved by many people. So the priest can share more love for others also. So that is a, a beauty. As a Catholic Church who practice uh, our love in our uh, identity as a priest. So we should not talk about all oh, because priests cannot get married, that's why no people want to become priests. It's not that simple. But uh, love. If we feel loved by God, then we should. Uh, love others. That is what Jesus said in this gospel. As I love you, so you also love each other. So that is the third one I want to say. Find love in our life so that we can love others. Today's Mother's Day reminding us, you know, we should be thinking about uh, who love you more. Of course, normally we say, Mother, father, families. Sometimes there are troubles between parents and children. There's also a problem. However, the blood is very important. Since we have the same blood, then we always can forgive. But forgive is another thing. But the love is uh, much important than forgive because. If we always keep love, we even don't have a chance to forgive someone so that we need to forgive someone. So that's why love it is directly to the point. So let us try to find the love from the parents and the families. If not, try to find the love, friends. If uh, still family members cannot, friends cannot, I to find the love among the world. You know, even sometimes in Hong Kong, I can see some people who do not know each other, they also can love for help. So you can see, you have love everywhere in the world. So for the people, I mean, that's the problem of Hong Kong nowadays. Many people only look at the problem, but they don't surveillance to see love, then they feel so hopeless, they feel everything is dark. It is true there are problems, but at the same time we should look at the problems, at the same time look at the uh, better things, and not focusing on one thing. So, I don't know, where, do you, where could you find your light, love? In your life, especially in Hong Kong, in your situation now. Because the more you look at, the more you can love others, the more you will have peace and joy. So, end of my sharing, just want to say, Jesus said, as I love you, you love each other. Jesus experienced that love. Like Jesus also in the gospel to say, a slave do not understand the master's. Uh, uh, because of uh, the position, because of life. We cannot understand uh, many, but at least we can understand our worldly love in our position. So, probably as Mother's Day, it is mother and son and daughter. That is the way. We, many of us, a mother of uh, some children, same time, we are the son and daughter of a uh, a mother. So probably on this, we can feel, experience our love, and uh, so that we can love uh, others. Because whatever father or mother or brother or sister or son of a child or son or daughter, it is uh, God's will that we born in that family, that we have such children. So. 
That's love. So today's fast, let's pray for this. I believe in God, the Father of our King. Let us pray to the Father that we may live in love, we profess and celebrate, so that let's, uh, we may be known as the disciples of Christ, and that His love may be ours. Let us humbly call upon Him, saying, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. For church and civil authorities, may the Lord give us
sent by the God, the Almighty Father. May our prayers raise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be confirmed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. And I think thanks to the Lord our God. Is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and the born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as in dear special so as to bring the bounds of death and manifest the resurrection, and so with the angels and all the saints with the prayer of glory, as with one voice we are playing. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And the Savior's command and form by divine teaching with their consent.
Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increasing us we pray the fruits of this pastoral sacrament and pour into our heart the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen.